Hello everybody, this is Ariane Arsenault from La Fée de la Mer. Thank you for joining me today. I am going to be making some crackling wooden wick candles today uh, with some soy wax and I thought I'd do a quick video to show you how I made these. As a starter, I have weighed my soy wax and I will now go ahead and melt it. On my workstation, you can see that I have some wooden wicks. So I am actually combining two different wicks in these candles. Um, I am including a booster wick as well as a regular, um, this one is a smooth wick. I will be clipping these like so, and then placing them into my jars. Here I have some wick stickers that are from Candle Science and I am just removing the, the protector on the adhesives and then I will be sticking the wooden wicks onto these. By the way, these beautiful jars are also from Candle Science and look at these lovely caps. They're just neat, clean and fancy. For those of you who are in the candle making industry, you may have heard about the Echo Soya crisis. And uh, the wax that I am using today is in fact the Echo Soya CB Advance because I had many cases on backup um, when they went out of business. I have been making wooden wicks candles for a couple years, but because they had a shortage of wax about two, three years ago, uh, I had to change my soy wax sources. And every time you make a candle with a different wax, you need to do testings all over and all over again. So if you're, you've never made candles, you may not know this. It may look simple. Melt the wax, add the fragrance oil. Boom, you got a candle. Pour it in the jar. It's not that simple. <laughs> every wax burns differently, reacts differently to fragrances, to colorants, and to the different wicks that you are using. So, finally, I now have something that works with Echo Soya, but now I'm gonna have to change again once I am out because they closed their business a couple months back. So, if you were wondering the wax I'm using, I'm sorry to disappoint, <laughs> it's not available anymore. The two different candles that I'm making today are scented in two completely different blends. So the first one is a house blend that I custom made myself. It is a mix of vanilla and spearmint essential oil. So the vanilla is a fragrance oil and the mint is an essential oil. And then the other one that I'm going to be making is grapefruit ruby red. And that one is a fragrance oil I got from Be Scented, um, BeScented.com. There we go. Uh, I just love this scent. It is so citrusy. It smells just like grapefruits. It's perfect. I have these little wick bars uh, that are from also from Candle Science and I am going to trim my wooden wicks a little bit but enough that they stick out and then once the wax has hardened up I will trim them down uh, with these later on. So I'm just making sure that I'm not cutting these too short. There we go. Let's start with the ruby red grapefruit. I'm gonna go ahead and add one drop of the red liquid dye from Candle Science. I just want a light hue to this candle. I don't want the dye to interfere too much with the wooden wicks. Um, so I'm going to keep it simple. When working with soy wax, coconut wax, or any other type of wax for candle making, each wax has different 
uh, requirements to work with. So they need to be heated to a certain temperature before we can add the fragrance oil. Now I have an ideal temperature in this wax. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my Ruby Red Grapefruit Fragrance Oil. Here's my little drop from the color. It's a very light pink and that's what I wanted. It is now time to pour in the fragrance oil and it's been pre-measured, pre-weighed at the right percentage for this specific type of wax. I'm gonna stir it in for a couple minutes. Now that I've been stirring this for a couple minutes, I'm gonna set it aside, stirring occasionally, and wait till I have my ideal pour temperature. And while this is cooling, I'm gonna go ahead and mix my second wax and fragrance. This smells absolutely beautiful. As the other wax, I'm gonna stir this for a few minutes and then I will set it aside and let it cool. I am now ready to pour this wax. It is perfect, it's ready to go. And I like pouring on a scale just to make sure that all of my candles have the same weight. Because sometimes the wick has a tendency to move around when the wax is still hot, I am just going to be using these little wig bars to make sure that they stay in place. However, you can't really clip them as when you're using cotton wicks. Just making sure that they stay put. There we go. Let's move on to the mint and vanilla candle. And the last one. And voila, the candles are poured in the jar. They will need to settle for a good 24 hours before we can move them, a good 48 hours before anybody can light them on. So I'll be back on Monday after this weekend. So it will be plenty of time enough to, for this wax to settle and harden up. And we will cap them, label them, and make them available to our local clients. Now that these have completely hardened up for a good 24 hours, I am wicking down as these are way too long to be burned so i'm taking up the excess with my big scissors and then i'm going to trim all the way down with these uh, pliers I'm just going to use this heat gun. This one is from the National Shrink Wrap. I really like it because it blows low uh, and I'm going to smooth these out.
It is now time to place the label. So I have my front label with the, the name uh, of each fragrance, as well as the mention that how these are composed. So um, soy wax and wooden wicks. And then for the bottom, I have the warning and how to use, as well as the wooden wick patent that is on the label. I get my clear labels from onlinelabels.com because everybody's asking me and then I laminate them by hand by applying a second label, a uh, clear label on top. And then um, I'm simply then aligning everything and putting my warning label with the wooden wick patent on the bottom. And I like my straight wick to be facing um, my label and then that it's easy to just flip it and read what's underneath. Moving on to the mint and vanilla candle and it smells so good. It's fabulous. I can't wait to light it on fire and um, <laughs> hear the, the crackling sound of this one. Ah. Voila, the wooden wick candles with the crackle when they burn are ready. I'm just going to apply a cap on top. This keeps them clean and away from any dust that may be falling um, either here in the shop or in your home. It keeps them really nice and neat. Um, there we go. If you are local to us and you purchase our candles, you should know that we take the jars back once they are empty. So you can just hand wash them, return them with the cap, and we give an in-store credit uh, when you do so. I really hope you've enjoyed watching the process of making these wooden crackling wick soy wax candles. I surely uh, enjoyed making them with you. They will be here uh, available locally as this is a very small limited edition. However, I have some jars coming and as soon as I can make a whole bunch of candles, I will list them on my website. So just be patient. Um, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. You can subscribe to the channel. And as always, if you are a crafter i always leave useful links in the description box below feel free to leave us a comment or a question in the comment section down below the video i will try to answer at my best abilities within the couple days um, after launching the video and then um that's it thank you so much for watching now i'm gonna go home and light one of these because they smell so good mm. bye